Okay, it's your boy Kamal Hart on the chart. We're going bar by bar. It's 524. Um, and we can see that we have this leg up, some congestion, and then another leg up. So it's looking like a strong trend day off the bat. Notice how none of this price action is below this EMA. It's a good sign that we're going to be in a, uh, a bull trend. So I can use these lines with conviction. Um, and it looks like we're coming up close on this high side. So hopefully we'll get a pullback and we can buy off the uh, pullback. So that's what I'm seeing pre-market today. A little dot, boom. Cool, so we get that, that high side touch. Uh, had a little lip. It was funny when I saw this. I really thought about buying this just because it's such a strong um, trend, but it's just not in my strategy to buy up there. But it would have worked. Sometimes we're just gonna have to find every pullback we can in order to really um, make money today. So we're getting some stack up here on on the highs. That's cool. Um, when you see a break lower, try to buy when it breaks lower. It broke lower there, but it didn't give us a setup that we could could have used. Um, so let's say that's our highs. Maybe we'll get a pullback, like a breakout pullback sort of entry. But we really need to see this price action come, come down here a little bit if we're trying to get some reliable trades. So we're getting this breakout. There's our first entry. Now we're getting that pullback. Um, that's a uh, second entry long, but the um, the signal bar is not good. It's really small though, but that's not a good signal bar. It fails. Okay, now we're getting back to our um, trend line. So here off this um, double top, This is the first entry, and then when it breaks above, this is the second entry. It's a little aggressive because this is an inside bar to this red candle, but when we have such a strong trend, you're gonna have to uh, just get in where you can. And this is the first place that I feel safe enough to even buy. And um, let's see what that does. And then I, I missed it, but here's a uh, the higher low on a trend. I don't know if I like taking those trades but here's the higher low i'll go back so we bought here and then now i made a higher low you know off our channel i almost feel like this line might end up being whoa why did do that i feel like this line might end up being just a little higher it still has a breakout but maybe it's just a little bit higher um and so, yeah, you could buy there as well. Those two, those are pretty decent trades to the high. Um, so this is a failed second entry short. But if you notice right here, we already made a new high. So you're taking the failed second entry short at like a new high. It's too risky. So even though it's off this... Um, trend um, I would I would be too cautious there and that one pulls back um, what we can look for now is maybe like a down a, uh, yeah, downtrend maybe going just through there see how that responds um, but really we're looking to get long so it's not so much that we're going to look for shorts. We're just watching it. Um, that's a second entry long off the highs and off the low of this uh, like channel. The signal bars aren't that great. Only thing is maybe it's so small that you could get away with it. But I don't know. I don't, I don't really trade that. So I have to skip it. And um, that goes. Here's a higher, lie, uh, uh, higher low after a new high, though. So that sketches me out a little bit, too, to be honest. But 
it's a good sign that we're, we're kind of still moving higher. Um, that's kind of the same principle I used back here to not enter here. So once again, I'm kind of like, man, I don't really like going long there. And it works. You know, ironically, I like going long here more than going long here just because it's that little lip bar. And I'm pretty convinced now that, you know, we're going to we're going to tick up. So I, I kind of liked going long here. but This isn't really it's not really a setup. So I, I watched it go without me. Um, and then here's the uh, failed second entry short. Um, so for sure at this point, right, let's see. I kind of blew past it, but um, a channel with the break outside, this for sure a break here, a move to a new high. It's getting risky to buy this um, unless since we have it, we have those three confirmed touches right off there. So maybe there's another channel up here. So it's possible that there's a channel up here. And uh, let me just move these down a little bit so we can see it better. So there is possibly a channel right through there. And um, since we've been going up so strongly today, you know, buying this is a little aggressive for sure. But um, I actually, I actually do like that trade. A little far from this EMA, so we need to be on guard. If it closes inside, we need to exit. But it kind of did close inside, honestly. So maybe you scratch that trade. But um, it would have worked. So now we're going to see maybe we'll come touch this high side of this new channel. All this stuff right here. Nothing we can do with it. Um, that's just like a first entry. It's just like a first entry pull back to the EMA. It's nothing that I can use. Again, this pull back. Second entry short, but no shorts. Then here's a second entry long. So first entry and then nothing breaks above. This breaks above, even though this, once again, it's kind of like an ugly setup, kind of like back here. But it's just, you know, it's a second entry long off our trend line. This is a for sure confirmed trend line now. So, um, you know, I'd buy it. That's where you got to buy. They look, they look ugly on days like this and they're a little hard to find, but that's sometimes how you got to take these these trades on these. Uh, look how, you know, five bars have been under the EMA today. You know, this is this is a pretty good chance that we're going to test this high. Get some some pullback. Here's the uh, higher low. Um, and it's starting to go sideways. Um, Technically, none of this is congestion. See how this bar is not inside of that bar. This bar is inside of that bar, but it's not inside of this bar. Technically, no, nothing in there is congestion, but um, I don't think I'd be trying to add on in this case. So I just have to wait it out. And then uh, we get another sort of failed entry lower. Another failed entry lower. You know, it's, it's, it's going higher. See how these are all a little bit higher? You know, so this is aggressive to buy this, but off this low first entry, the failed second entry was right here when it triggered. But um, you know, I would just wait. If I'm in still, I'm just holding it. That one goes. That's kind of a uh, let me let me break down this trade. I kind of liked it. Um, so if we're going to use this as our kind of range. Right there through those highs. It's kind of a breakout pullback first entry uh, with a good signal bar. It's a little aggressive, but uh, see if you can exit before the highs. 
Okay, so at the highs. So maybe if you can get it on a limit order, which I don't think you would have gotten on a limit order. So probably have to uh, skip that trade. Here's a second entry long, but we're also going sideways. And another thing to look at, if you can see this real time, it's going to help a lot. But if that's our initial congestion area, um, when you measure this higher, that gets us right there. So right there, you can see kind of like a two-tier range. So entering here is aggressive and risky now that we know that we're in a range. So if you can exit, you know, break even, break even plus one, that's good. And you might, you might have, um, and then it starts to pull back. So now, that's yeah, pretty clear. There's just a uh, a range going on. Not that many trades today, but it's okay. So up here, and then we'll get this one back down there. So basically we're just gonna play that range and we come back up to the, um, to the tops. Um, there was a second entry long right there and depending on how you look at it, um, with this channel, the first break, and then a move to a new high. Um, just depends on, on how how you looked at that. It's once again, not a great setup in terms of the signal bar. But when I was trading real time, I saw that. I didn't take any of these. I, I only traded um, gold and uh, the URL today because or the pound because I wasn't. I wasn't available for most of the session today. Um, so you get this break of the channel, move to a new high, but I'm still kind of looking at this range. So I would have been suspect a little bit going long there, but you know, it worked. Um, and then you get this pullback. See how that interacting with that line? That's a good sign. Um, there's nothing there, just the first entry inside bar. We'll just have that just in case. So it kind of like pull back retest with a, a move lower. And that gets us into the two o'clock. So it's not really anything else. It's a little a like, uh, higher low. It's not that great. So that gets you into 12 o'clock. So there really wasn't that many trades today. And a lot of them were aggressive and ugly most of these were you know at least ugly maybe not so aggressive given the context of the uptrend but definitely um, not pretty so some days are like this you just gotta roll with the punches luckily today I wasn't even trading this so <laughs> it worked out for me I guess but if I was this is how um, I would have approached it so all we got for today volume will probably start to wind down as we get closer to christmas and, th and stuff like that so this isn't too surprising but um until tomorrow